So no joke right off the bat, I have learned something new. I was checking the uh, the keys here, going into options and controls, and I checked out the vault. And if I go into categories, look at this. I didn't realize I could select and use the ability once I hit a key. So I have a assigned a few keys. Vein Miner now is my default grave key, which I'm so used to using. I can just hold it and actually use the key, which is super cool. But not only that, I can now actively use my dash as needed. So my dash always, I'm ready to go. And I can always cleanse by just hitting Z real quick. And then anytime I wanna do an actual mega jump, boom, I'm good to go. This is so nice. All right, so the <laughs> having these abilities just at my fingertips now, oh my gosh, we are gonna be rocking these vaults. Speaking of vaults, I've got a new vault that I gotta start up. Um, so I still have my crystals. Let's go ahead and load in a new one. See what requirements are to be had. A poisonous potato, snow, looks like some lapis and some sand. Um, thankfully, we do have some sand. Uh, not that sand. We ended up getting, or unless it was in a shulker box. No, it's right here. Look at all this compressed sand. So yeah. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got plenty. Hopefully. That's almost a stack. I might have to go find another a, a desert. How much am I going to need? 66, 42, a little bit more. And I, of course, have tons of poisonous potatoes. Toss that on there. Snow and Lapis are uh, just at our fingertips as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and find ourselves a little bit of snow. That is one thing. On our map, there's uh, there's some snow over here snow-capped mountains, not a lot over there. And yeah, I think over here is gonna be probably our closest area. And then I also need to grab some sand while I'm there. I don't know about you guys, but man, I am just pumped today. I don't know, I just have this feeling like I've gotta get back into a vault and I'm, I just want to find more and more loot. Oh man, this is like it's super satisfying. Once you uh, go through there and you, you find something new, like, it, it, it's super exciting. It's, yeah, it's it's very, very nice. Look, there's some more villagers here. So with this, all I gotta do is toss in my few snowballs. There we go, that one's complete. And a little bit more sand. Done. Perfect, hit the button. And we could make more than one of these. I think right now going one at a time is not super bad. Um, yeah, normal objective. I wonder if we can hit this a little bit better now that I have my keys sort of bound properly. I think I should be able to maneuver. Also, you guys let me know, ender chests don't work in that dimension. So that's that's a good thing to know, uh, so I don't rely on it, uh, because that could have been bad. Now, real quick, I wanted to mention, a lot of you guys have been commenting that my, uh, my editing style has been a lot like Iskal's. While it is definitely a lot like Iskal's, I think this editing style might become my new norm. I'm really, really enjoying editing like this. Like, no joke. Like, uh, doing all these cuts and stuff, it's, it's actually really fun when I go to edit, because normally, when I'm editing, it's just me combining the clips that I've already kind of predefined and pre-recorded as I've gone through. So, going through and actually editing these long-form clips, not bad, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm definitely having a lot of fun, and definitely trying to create my own style out of it. So, to all of you guys who've been enjoying it, guess, guess what? <laughs> There's hopefully gonna be more of it. And it really, really fits this mod pack, uh, especially since uh, I had to sort of grind through vanilla in literally like a day. Yeah, that was a, that was a lot of that was a lot of editing. So another quick tip as we are about to enter into the vault, um, you can actually set waypoints. You guys let me know that I could be setting waypoints, but you can do it quicker by just hitting the plus key apparently. And uh, that will leave a quick waypoint and of course, to delete that, we just go into our waypoints and delete it. So as soon as we enter the vault, we should be able to use this to hopefully not get lost. And that'll save some of my anxiety. Yeah, because time and everything else like that, all pressure, yeah, causes a lot of anxiety for me. All right, well, I guess it's time for vault number three. Let's open this bad boy. I think we're ready and let's hope that it's good. Oh boy. Plentiful vaults. Okay, uh, wooded. I think our first area that I step into, I'm gonna hit that with that marker. Soul sand right off the bat. 
Let's see. Plentiful, plentiful, plentiful. Does that mean... Okay, there's, there's a chest there. Grab all that I can. <laughs> this is a kind of a cool area, though. There is a door, thankfully. Grab that. Get rid of these guys. Is there more in there? There definitely looks like there's more. Um, not... Oh, there's an ore there. I don't know if I can grab that ore, though. I definitely want to. But these guys... These guys hurt. A lot. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not getting... I'm not going for it. No way. No way. I've got to get out of here. Oh, no. I've been hit with poison. Must abandon. Cleanse. Oh, I'm so glad I have that. Oh, my goodness. Because we're already down hearts. Okay. This room. Wither skeleton skull. We already got some good stuff going on. Uh, spawners, it looks like, everywhere. What is that? There's sewers? This is kind of cool. Alright. <laughs> a lot of the stuff is just spawning in and just dying, as you can hear. I'm using my first healing potion. Looks like there's fun down there, though. Alright, let's check this out. I'm dropping down. And what do we have here? A sewer with zombies. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's poison. That's not, though. Man, I'll take all the gold. There's another chest. Take the slime. Ooh. More good stuff. I heard a witch. That speed bar might come in handy. Alright, did I already see this one? I don't think so. Look at that. Man, all the... Oh, vault cookies. Yes, give me all the vault cookies. Um, so I just use my mega jump? Ooh, that is so nice. So nice and satisfying. Okay, so I'm going to continue this direction. We might be able to find something. I don't know. We might be able to fight the, the final boss. All right, what is this? There's definitely some TNT stuff going on here. Parkour my way in. What is that? This is a player head. I kind of want it. Whoa. Whoa. All right, there's a bow that just has protection, an anvil. I might actually take the, well, I don't really need an anvil. Is there anything in there? Oh, there's stuff in here. Ooh. Special. Doesn't tell me it's an Omega chest. Oh, here's another obelisk. So that leads us pretty close. What is this? Spider monstrosity. Oh no. So spiders we don't do too well against. There's got to be something inside these. Oh. Was not that was an accident. Oh boy. Is there anything down there? This is an interesting room. 
Does it have one of the mineshaft things in it? It does. This one's different, though. There's actually a chest. Another chest. This one has some ores that I need. Another chest. There is a chest in here. Yes. Vault cookies. Up ahead is our last obelisk. This would be the boss room. Um, seems pretty decent for a boss room, I would think. I mean, we got some zombies, but that's not a big deal. Where's this tree lead to? Yes. Vault cookies, more vendors. I will take those. Anything else? Okay. We're looking pretty good. Definitely found the chest room. Netherite scrap. I mean, these aren't the greatest chests in the world, but they're better than nothing. And this is the boss room. That was a crap chest. Ooh, an epic chest. <gasps> this has a strength bar in it. Yeah, this has strength bar, wither skeleton. I believe that's our first netherite ingot. Full netherite ingot, by the way. Crapped. Yes, more netherites. All right. So, time for me to sort of prep myself. Um, I definitely need the strength cookie. All right, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna end up eating the chocolate, the strength. I just need to give myself enough time. Oh, and I hope this is a okay boss. I mean, I have. I don't have splash potion, so I have to drink these. I just need to set myself up for success. And I hope I don't die. That would be really, really unfortunate. If I died. All right, I think I've given myself enough time. Let's get my bow just in case. Eat this. Okay, let's eat this. Okay, those are the explosion arrows. Okay, boss. You're mine. You're dead. Get wrecked. Woo! First boss down. All right, did we get our chest? We did. Okay. That's all that matters. Oh, I feel so good now. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we ended up getting our boss crate. Woo! We actually didn't bail this time. Oh, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. And we ended up getting a skill point. We leveled up that time. But the big thing is this boss crate. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Boss crate, what do you got in you? Okay. So, netherite scrap. So, we are going to be upgrading our stuff. Oh, look at all the bottles of enchanting. A ghost apple gives you 15% parry for two minutes. That's kind of, that's kind of awesome. Wither roses and a trader core. Insert in the vending machine to trade. This one doesn't have anything on it. So I wonder if that shows up when it goes in your inventory. Oh, it does. So vault si silver uh, for a storage upgrade. Okay. That's pretty awesome. A unique vault gem. That's interesting. And this crate is quite large. Really, really nice. Now let's take a look at some of that awesome loot. Yes. Six vault cookies. Bunch of ore. We got a bunch of gifters here. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on some containers and hope for the best. And then I have no idea what this is. Generates a large amount of random resources until it decays. Uh, what? Does this also go? This is a gifter statue. I guess this also is the same thing. Except it's a present. I have no idea. I'm going to place it in the chest. And then we also got eye goodies. Ed. That's, that's hilarious. We've got to throw that somewhere. Oh, man. And look how large this crate is. This is all of our loot just stored in here. Look at all of our vendor upgrades. The one from Captain Sparkles. Uh, netherite scrap for some vault bronze. 
Uh, yes. Okay, so we gotta definitely get a vending machine upgraded. So let's go ahead and get this vending machine made. Look at this bad boy. So this one is an advanced vending machine which can hold unlimited amounts of trade cores, whereas the regular one can hold like the same named cores, which is kind of interesting. Like all of this is very interesting in how it works. We have tons of these trade cores. So I'm guessing I can just go ahead and throw these in. So there's that one. And that one. And that one. Oh, I love how it shows their, their player skin. Get these all in. There's Captain Sparkles. Boom. And there we go. And I should be able to right click in here. And there's my trades. Interesting. So if I need any of this stuff, I can just pop in here and trade. Looks like a block of diamonds. I don't know if that's a good trade or not. But a, a, a weak vault magnet early on? Question mark? I don't think we have that. I don't think we have any silver available. No, like we have a little bit of vault bronze, but uh, we don't have enough silver, I don't think. Because to get the vault, yeah, we would have to do this. Now we have enough for five. Uh, not quite, not quite. I don't think there's anything in here that's really worth it right now. One thing I am super excited about is this though, netherite ingot. What am I gonna change? I'm thinking about like my chest piece. I mean, they're all about the same, and I think switching this to netherite just brings it up one number, no matter what we have. Um, so yeah, I think just like going here would be fine. Eventually, we'll probably end up finding like chest pieces and stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. So right over here, drop this in. Bam! Our first piece of netherite gear, as you can see, it went up one point, which gives us even more defense while we're out there in the vaults. So at the moment, I have a couple more of these bad boys. I have a couple more of the rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these complete. It looks like there was redstone somewhere. Somehow the redstone completed. Um, but yeah, I have to get a few of these materials, not super difficult to come by. This maybe, um, but I should be able to find them fairly easy in the same place that I find this terracotta. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and go ahead and make another one. And I'm gonna do two more vault runs. By the way, I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, well, as far as mods go, you may be wondering where they're at. Well, I can't get into the mods just yet. I think later on in the game, as soon as we do several more vaults and get closer to level 25, that will become more of a thing. But at the moment, well, we're kind of left with just our passive ability upgrades. And well, we'll get into mods later and hopefully, you know, find some fun things that we can do with them. So I think it's time for vault number four. Let's do this. So we have unlucky and safe zone. Oh. So it was at this point that I started to get a lot more comfortable with the movement. Ooh, what does this require? Three hearts. Ooh, that's gonna be a painful one. This room right here looks super crazy. 
Definitely want to grab this. Oh, this is another one that's going to have some ores in it. Holy smokes, that scared me. What was that? Okay, yeah, that's a nope. <laughs> okay, can I get out of here? Oh my gosh. This looks horrifying. Yikes. Well, with all of that, <laughs> I think it's time to bail. Well, after that one, I think it's vault number five. So this one has no modifiers. That's interesting. Oh, there's cake! What? Vault is a lie. What do they give me? The Wait, the... What? <laughs> I just found a random cake. Oh, it gave me absorption and speed. That's awesome. Oh, be lucky. Be lucky. Three hearts. Yes, I'll take it. Perfect. Just, just take it. Just take my money. Look at that, a full diamond block. What is this? I'm gonna grab some of that. Is this worth it? It's going to take some time off of our vault. Oh, I hope it's worth it. What is this, a weak magnet core? Okay, got to be worth something. I, I only have one obelisk left. This room can go in three different directions. I'm going to try this way. We've got to fight this boss. All right, this is it. This is the last obelisk. Oh man, this could be a rough area to fight this boss and can also be a good spot. Oh wait, is that another obelisk? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We only need one more. Definitely want the other room, uh, for sure. This is not, not a room I want to fight this thing in. Ooh, okay, I need to take a few breaths. I do have some power bars, which is going to help us tremendously. And I think we should be good so long as I use those. Oh boy. All right. Boss. Let's, let's, let's do this. Put my splash potions. Okay, I only have one. Let's, let's go. Okay, looks pretty easy actually. Oh, this is a boogeyman. We did it. <laughs> I got another chest. Yes. Oh my goodness. What is down here? Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. That was perfect. <laughs> yes. Another boss defeated. Ah, and we should have plenty of loot. What did this get us here? I mean, we ended up getting vault dust, which is a crafting ingredient, a flask of uh, regret. Oh, gosh. Lots of bottles of enchanting, another ghost apple. Ah, things are looking good. 
So what I would call today a pretty good, pretty good vault run. I don't know, what do you guys think? Look at all of our goodies. So of course we end up getting granite. We have white alabaster, which is really beautiful. Um, we have travelerite, is that right? Or traveler team. Um, and then we have metamorphic taiga stone. That's pretty cool. And then of course over here, I did change this because I was playing around and you can actually change the name uh, to yourself or any other player. And yeah, look at that, tons of gravel. But this, this is where it's at. Vault cookie, let's go ahead and grab out all the vault cookies out of here because we have tons of awesome stuff. But the vault cookies I think are some of the most important. And out of all of this, I ended up getting nine vault cookies. Uh, and then we, of course we have the six from the other run. So in turn, we have 15 vault cookies. How many skill points is that gonna grant us? I hope a lot. It seems like every cookie has a random chance of experience. So that's seven. Oh, can we get, just come on, one more. Oh, we're so close <laughs> to eight. We would have five skill points. Is there a chance for us to get cookies out of mystery boxes? Because we did get quite a few mystery boxes as well. I think that's it as far as mystery boxes go. Mystery boxes can give you apples? That's pretty awesome. We did get a burger bun, which is a crafting ingredient for giving us more experience. And then of course, we have all of our uh, our booster packs, which, I mean, they're not gonna do much. And also you guys let me know that I can put them in my offhand and I can do them together. Hey, we got another mystery box. That's cool. <laughs> so, so far, what do you guys think about these vaults? I don't know, I think they're pretty fun. And I don't know, are you guys enjoying these edits? Let me know down below. Are you enjoying this mod pack? Are you having a blast watching? I mean, that's all information that I would love to hear back from you guys in the comments. So far, it seems like it's a, it's a, it's a dramatic yes. You guys have been super supportive so far in the comments, but uh, I would love to hear your feedback. Those of you who uh, normally don't comment, I don't know, try it out for once. It's uh, pretty nice. And uh, I'll be sure to check out all of the comments and uh, get them all read up. I usually leave a few hearts here and there. Um, but yeah, we got all this loot. I'm gonna now sort through all of this stuff. And of course, next episode, next episode, we have some more vaults to run. And uh, I think next episode, we're gonna push it this time. We're gonna do several vaults all in one episode. And I'm gonna see how many vaults I can actually conquer in just one video. It's gonna be insane. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And of course, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And of course, I wanna give that huge thanks to devs over on the Discord. Thank you so much for your amazing support, devs. And uh, of course, that is becoming a Discord premium member. And of course, if you don't know what that is, all you gotta do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect and check it out. There's a whole tab listing all the cool benefits that you get. And of course, just joining the Discord, you're perfectly fine. You get that member role and you get access to a vanilla server. So be sure to check that out. And of course, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smack that subscribe button. And of course, guys, give it a huge thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, Thanks for watching.